hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on Elasticsearch so in our series of Elasticsearch tutorial for beginners we already seen how to set up Elasticsearch on SendOS and also on Ubuntu as well right and we also spoke about the basic concept of uh, Elasticsearch uh, what is ELK what are the components in, in it so I will link all those uh, video in the video descriptions and also you can check my playlist for elastic search for those details okay so this is the continuation of that in this tutorial what we will do is we will see how to set up elastic search on docker as a container so what we will be doing is like we will pull the elastic search uh, 7 docker image and we will use that docker image to create a elastic search docker container and also we will uh, create an index and also test that index in the uh, docker container for Elasticsearch. So this will be a pretty simple uh, tutorial, okay, not much uh, complicated. If you know docker, how to create docker containers, it's not that complicated. Okay, so I uh, just want to show you how to do that. So before I get into the actual process, uh, I, I have a request like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and uh, kindly support and also like the video share and comment so the first step is like we need to pull the docker image so i'm going to use docker pull and the uh, docker image is uh, from the elastic search uh, directly it's not from the docker hub so if you see it's uh, docker.elastic.co elastic search and the uh, elastic search uh, version number so if you give latest, it may not work because you need to give the late uh, version number which you want to pull, okay? So I'm giving the 7.12.1 for this uh, video, okay? So let me just run this uh, command so it can uh, pull the Docker image for Elasticsearch 7.12.1. So you can see it's uh, downloading, it's uh, now around 300-400 uh, MP of uh, data. So I will just keep this and I will be back once the image is downloaded. So we are almost completed, uh, you know, it's just extracting the image layers which we have pulled. So let's wait for that to be completed. Okay, great. So the image is downloaded. So if you know the Docker commands, so you, you, you can check the images using the command Docker images. And you can see the container, sorry, the Docker image for Elasticsearch is here. Okay, so let me clear out the screen. So now uh, if I check, I don't have any Docker containers running for uh, Elasticsearch or any other containers. So now we need to create a container for Elasticsearch using this Docker, Docker image. So in order to create that, you need to use a docker run command and I'm going to use detach mode and I'm going to give a name for this uh, container as Elasticsearch. And uh, since Elasticsearch using the port, I will be using 9200 uh, from the host and also from the container. And also I'll be using the other port, which is 9300. Okay, now we need to give some uh, environmental variables since we want to run this container as a single node container. So this is more of a single node uh, Elasticsearch uh, setup. So we don't want to go for a you know, cluster or multi node setup uh, in this uh, container. You can do that. With that we will see using a Docker Compose in the upcoming tutorial. So we need to give an environment variable uh, as discovery type is uh, single node. So this has to be set for uh, running this container as a single node. Now then we need to give the Elasticsearch image name. So this is the image name, the docker.elastic.co, uh, Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch and the uh, tag, which is 7.12.1, which is the version number. So once you uh, give this all details, you can just press enter, so it will create a container. So I'm checking Docker PS, which uh, showed me the container is running. So it's up up uh, just three seconds ago. So in order to check what is the status of the container, I'm going to use Docker uh, logs, elastic search, because I just want to see whether the container is all completely created and I'm going to use the F tag to see the logs continuously, okay? Because it may take some time for this uh, elastic search to be starting. So you can see it's still uh, doing the process. So we need to wait for that to be completed. Uh, before we can uh, exec or you know, 
uh, connect to the uh, connect to the container and then we can try to create some index and uh, some testing there so we'll just wait for this to be completed okay okay that looks like uh, it's done so we don't see any more updates so I'm just uh, exiting from the logs so let me clear out the screen so now let's uh, log into the container Elasticsearch so I'm going to use docker exec and uh, IT iterative mode and the uh, container name Elasticsearch and uh, bash okay so now uh, we are inside the container so if you see we are inside the container and uh, what uh, I want to do is uh, let me clear out the screen I just want to first curl the Elasticsearch uh, first the host uh, local host and uh, the 92200 to see what's the output so I'll uh, curl this uh, local host 9200 which is the Elasticsearch uh, uh, status to get so if you see like now we are getting the cluster name docker cluster and the UID and our, all those details are coming so that means Elasticsearch setup is uh, correct uh, now let me try to create a uh, index and then we will see what's the status of that so in order to create a index we need to use xput or uh, you know using the curl command so you have to put uh, the content into the elastic search so this is the elastic search uh, web you no know, host and the port number where the elastic search is running and we are going to use a index called new index so we are going to put that using the curl okay so let me run this command so now you can see it has uh, created the shards are acknowledged and the index is new index okay so uh, since it's been created now let's uh, try to uh, get the output or let's see the status of the uh, you know the index how it will look like so in order to see the uh, you know details of the index rather than put we need to use get so it should be X put has to be changed to get okay so once you run this you can see it has uh, giving us the details of the index like new index alias mapping setting index routing allocation so all those details are coming but however it just does not look uh, you know neat way right it's just coming like a, a complete line so what you can do is you can just add a pretty or uh, you know on top of this so you can get the output in a formatted way so let's try to get that so what I will do is I will just add you uh, know uh, just one and pretty so now you can see this uh, output looks much uh, better right like the it's a formatted way so you can see new index alias mapping settings so all those details are provided here so what we have done is just along with the curl for that I have just added a question mark and pretty so that will give you the output in a formatted way okay so that's the way you can do it in the elastic search uh, to get the outputs so this is the only thing which I want to show like you know, how to set up elastic search in a docker container and also how to create index and how to check that now we will see more about uh, creating uh, index how to put data into index how to format you know uh, those things you know we will see in the upcoming tutorial so this is a, just a basic one how to set up uh, those for those who want to set up elastic search on docker so i hope uh, this uh, tutorial is informative for you so to see more uh, videos like this click on the subscribe button and uh, keep uh, liking share uh, you know comment with your feedback uh, for uh, you know providing your feedback will help us to get into more videos what kind of videos you want to see so i want to thank you for watching